Okay. Now let's the, the next one is sex toys. Doctor Nanuju, sex toys. What is it for the male? Is it for the male or for the female? For both men and female. The way How, is the way it sounds. You know that um, <laughs> there is a problem with it. Really. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> for the for the for the women. Okay. Now, if you use a woman that uses sex toys. Mm -hmm you generate vibration you see those sex toys generate vibration telling you what i, I just said earlier mm -hmm. because they, they are designed to generate redeeming vibration mm -hmm. that you put inside that sensitive holy mm -hmm. holy holy sanctorium mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it begins to vibrate and when it vibrates you know there are enough endings all over the vulva mm -hmm. all over the vagina there are enough endings Mm -hmm. But they are they are more concentrated in certain areas. Okay. Now this vibration makes the nerve endings insensitive. Okay. So, you know, when that vibration stimulates those organs or those cells in those areas, it comes to a point that the vibration from the natural organ cannot oh. generate. The same level of vibration. The same level of vibration. Okay. So the ecstasy, the pleasure that is generated from those toys, the toys. Mm. will will bring you to a point that you just say, I don't need any man. Even your wife, your husband is there. You say you don't need it because the sex toys are going to set you on high. And you listen again. It's also addictive. Very, very addictive. Because if you do the level you do today. If you come tomorrow and do the same level, you will not get that excitement. You need to go to a higher level, level for you to get. Then you come back and say, let your partner come and try. He will just try, but you know that the happiness you got the, the, with the toys are not the so same. It's almost the same thing too, unexpected expectations. Yeah, so you, oh. you raise tension that are not necessary. They are not necessary. You, you don't need those tension, for instance, you may even prejudge because those uh, are let, electrical things, they put battery inside and the things start dancing, dancing, that you can dance for, for 20, 20 hours. I don't know the man that will stay for. Well, let's see. No, no man can stay that long. So you're, you're trying to compare a machine and a human being, which can never. It's not going to work real. And it doesn't make for honest discussion. And, uh, but I, ha I, have, I, ha I have some clients say, oh, well, it helps us. Uh, and I ask them sincerely. Does it really? Let me let me ask you: if if you do this thing and you and your husband or your wife does this to you, which one do you like more? Don't tell lies. So. And she said, "That thing work man wonder so that thing they work." I say yes. Now you know that you are more likely to divorce your husband or your wife with that. Because yes. you feel that you don't need him. You don't need anybody. You don't need anybody. Because you can buy it, you just go and use it. But that is not that is not godly and that is not biblical. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember any person in the Bible that used um at all. At all. That used that. So, Jesus Christ would have gone to that person's house and said, Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> So if, if you are currently using sex toys, um, mm -hmm. is, is is something that you can work with your doctor uh, or you can work with us. We can work out a program. You can come out of it. It's something that somebody can overcome. It's just, you just need the right experience and the support of your spouse. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to come out. But for those who are still stuck in it, um, well, what we can do is to pray for you. That's and, right. believe, and believe that you will come out mm -hmm. uh, but it's against the scriptures um i would encourage you um to keep doing that okay now because yeah it's almost an hour oh this is so what? good i don't even want an to leave. i don't <laughs> i'm having a blast 